has built. I think the reason that society has taken that dolls are only for girls has a lot to do with marketing and big toy companies. There's no good reason why a boy shouldn't play with a doll. This is Billy. This is Mason. These are our first pair of action dolls that we're releasing. He has 11 joints and six of them are action joints, which are ball joints. And the great thing is they can rotate all the way around. The inspiration for Boy Story was my children. Uh, I was pregnant with my second son and wanted to buy my older son a doll. In my head, I wanted a same age type doll and I came up with a bunch of dolls, none of them were boys. I thought, why on earth doesn't this exist? This is really a strange situation that we have a one-sided gender scenario with our toys. And I thought, this is actually a problem I can tackle. Um, I can do something about it. We're gonna be selling this as an option with a book. Um, and the book is gonna be about the, each doll individually. So Mason will have his own book, Billy will have his own book. One thing that's really special about our dolls is that each one of them has its own face mold. So instead of what you'll see on the market now, doll companies just change the skin tone and the hair color. We wanted to celebrate the diversity and the features of those diversities and show kids that it's beautiful. There's a lot of things our kids are learning through doll play that boys are missing out on and that's actually affecting them as adults. There are direct correlations between playing with dolls, pretend play, and developing very important communication, relational, and nurturing skills. My hope is that in the future, there's a generation of uh, adults who don't have these stereotypes in their lives anymore. And I love you too.